Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to LST for another story time. My name is Miss Murphy, and I like to welcome you to story time. All right, welcome back. Um, so the story that we're doing today, remember that it is August. It is August, you guys. And I'm so excited that it's August because we are reading books about sharks. Da -da -da -da. So we're doing a couple of shark books. And our um, book this week is the same like last week. Last week, we read the book Gilbert the Hero. Okay, I love this series. And today's book is Gilbert and Deep. Okay, so um, since we're still reading about Gilbert, we're still reading about Gilbert, and I'm really excited to read the story to you. All right, so welcome to our shark series. Let's go ahead and get started. Gilbert the Deep is, yeah, the shark is cute. I have friends here with me today. Gilbert the Deep was written by Jane Clark and Charles, Char, Charles Feud. All right. Gilbert in Deep. Gilbert the Great White Shark loved to play hide and seek with Rita Ramora, but they already knew all the nooks and crannies in the coral reef and all the hiding places in the wreck. I'm gonna show my friends. Yes. Okay. So one day after school, Gilbert and his mother, mom, um, Gilbert asked his mother, mom, can we go and play hide and seek on the other side of the reef? Go ahead, mom said, but be sure to be back before sunset and don't go over the edge. Gilbert and Rita swam off. You guys see? What did mom tell them not to do? To go over the edge. To go over the edge. What were you going to say? Mom said, don't go over the edge. All right. The sea was rough on the other side of the reef. When Gilbert hid in the surging surf, Rita was tumbled and tossed by the waves. And when Rita hid in the swirling seaweed, Gilbert could could. Gilbert got terribly tangled up. So on the other side, the water, is it, is it easier or is it uh, rougher? Rougher. It's rougher, yes. I'm tired of playing hide and seek side, Gilbert. Let's swim off the, let's swim off the edge and play hide and deep. Your mom told us not to, warned Rita. She'll go off the deep end. She won't know as long as we're back before sunset. Gilbert grinned. He was ready for an adventure. Where are you guys? What where, where is he getting ready to go, you guys? Over the edge. Over the edge. Did mom say he could go over the edge? No. no, no, no. Mom doesn't want him to go over the edge, right? Yes. Okay. Um, next page. The edge of the reef dropped away into inky darkness. It's dark in the deep, Gilbert said, peering over the edge. You're not scared of the dark, are you? Asked Rita. Me? Scared? Gulp. Gilbert. Gilbert. It says gulped Gilbert. So I'm like, Gulp. Gilbert. Great white sharks are fearless and they dove off the edge together oh my goodness you guys look at the edge what are an edge for? you see the edge would you be scared to go off that edge no. yeah yeah i would be scared you don't you wouldn't be scared no no, no. okay huh I'll, I'll run and do it run and do a front flip. Above them, the pale rays of watery sunshine silhouetted a, sh a shimmering shadow. It's a ghost well. Rita froze in her fins. Boo! 
Gilbert shouted. The huge shadow broke up into glittering rainbows. It's only cuttlefish, Gilbert grinned at Rita. There's nothing to be afraid of. Down and down they dove through the deep, dark ocean. You guys see? They went down and down into the deep, dark ocean. Yes. They stopped at the entrance to a cave. I can't see a thing in here, said Gilbert. It's the perfect place to play hide and seek. My turn to hide. He took a deep breath and swam in. Rita covered her eyes with her fins and began to count to 10. One, two, three, whoop. Gilbert bumped into a giant empty clamshell. He wiggled inside. You guys see? Where yeah. Gilbert is? Why would you think going into a dark cave would be a good idea? Uh, right? Why yeah. would why would why would you think going into a dark cave would be a great idea? I don't know. I don't know. Oh I my know. goodness! You guys, he went into a clamshell. You see that over here? Um, uh, what do you think is going to happen next? Oh. Yes, he's going to get eaten by what? The claim. By the claim, what do you think is going to happen? He's going to get stuck. He's That's an interesting. Let me get to the next page. Y'all ready? Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. She was counting. She was counting and she got to eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, Rita called in a wobbly voice. Gilbert peeked out of the clamshell. A ghostly green light was glowing in the darkness. The light bobbed closer and closer and Gilbert's heart beat faster and faster. The light bobbed past the clamshell. It was bobbing towards Rita. Then the light went out. What do y'all think that was? Um, it's probably, it was probably an angel that they hide out the like fish. Yes. Oh my gosh. I have to see what it was. Gilbert's tummy did a somersault. He squeezed out of his hiding place. R -r 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 Rita, 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 where are you? Gilbert, Rita squealed. There's a green eyed monster in the cave. Gilbert's teeth began to chatter. Can your teeth chatter? <laughs> I'm not a monster, said the gravely voice. I'm an angler fish. I knew it was an angler fish. Yes, my name is Glowana. I, I can't see you, Gilbert stammered. It's much too dark. Because that's the only fish that has a light. Light, uh-huh. Why didn't you say so, said Glowana. Ready? Set. You guys see the angler fish right here? Yes. Yes. Let me see. Oh, that looks scary. Looks so scary. <laughs> Ready, set, glow. The cave was bathed in an eerie green light. Ah! Gilbert gasped. Ah! Glowana and her friend shrieked. They took one look at Gilbert's teeth and leaped into each other's. Hey, you guys, what kind of fish is Gilbert? A shark. He's a shark. Wait, is a shark a fish? Yes, and the angler fish was afraid of his what? His <laughs> But Gilbert was afraid of their what? Light. Their light. They were afraid of each other, huh? Yes. Okay. Rita crept back to Gilbert's side. Gilbert took a deep breath. 
Huh, hello, Gl Glowana, he spluttered. There's no need to be scared, said Glowana. Me, scared, gulped Gilbert. Great white sharks are fearless. Rita nudged Gilbert nervously. We'd better get back before your mom finds out we went over the edge. Come up and play hide and seek with us sometime, Glowana, said Gilbert in his bravest voice. I'm not going up there, Glowana gasped. All sorts of scary things live in the light. So Glowana lives where? In the dark or in the light? In the dark. In the dark. And the shark lives where? In the dark in or the in the light? light? In the light. And are they both afraid of each other's habitat? Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Is there anything to be afraid of? No. No. No, there isn't. It's just it's just a different place, right? Yes. If you are scared to say, you don't have to lie to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and read the next page. Gilbert swam out of the cave. That's not the way we came, called Rita, but Gilbert was already swimming towards the rays of the setting sun. <gasps> the sun is setting. When are they supposed to be home? Before, before the sunset, Rita raced to catch up with him. Is he going in the right direction or no? No. No, I think maybe not, right? All around them, seaweed swayed and spooky shadows swirled. Everything looked wrong. St stick close to me, R Rita, stammered Gilbert. Okay, so this is where they're going now. Oh, they're going to the sea? Yeah, I think, think they got lost. Yes, they did not put on um their navigator. They got lost. They're getting lost. Moonlight began to filter into the deep blue ocean. Above them, a huge silvery moon shadow was creeping along the edge. A moon shadow with beady eyes and ferocious teeth. It crept closer and closer. And oh my goodness, it's a you guys see that? First of all, are they supposed oh, to be out that there? Could be, that could be their mom. That's what Maybe. Oh, okay. Let's see. Maybe it is because they're not supposed to be out after dark, right? I was thinking the mom said to be back before dark. Yeah, before sunset. All right, y'all ready to hear what happened? Gilbert, get up here this minute. I knew it. Gilbert's mother thundered. You're in deep trouble. Who oh, was that? His mother. It was his mom. Gilbert and Rita looked at each other. Uh-oh. They gulped. I told you not to go over the edge, mom said. You are not to go out of my sight until I'm sure that I can trust you again. So mom trusted him to go play hide and seek, right? Yeah. And then what did mama say? Mama said, don't you go where? Over the edge. Over the edge. And you need to be back when? Before sunset. Before sunset. And so did he betray her trust? Yes. Yeah. So do you think mom trusts him now? No. So when mom tells you, you can go to the pool or you can go outside, but don't go across the street. She's trusting you, right? Yeah, yeah she is. If you disobey her, what do you she, think will happen? She's not, gonna she's not gonna trust you. Very good. Okay, so it says um Gilbert Finn's dropped. You know, kind of like how when your dog is in trouble and his ears kind of like flop down and his tail kinds of drop. Yeah. So his fins dropped and he said, Sorry, mom, we won't do it again. Dog. Your dog does that, yes, when he's in trouble. <laughs> you see the mom, mom is like. Get over here. Get over here this minute. She's oh. Yeah, well, I mean, she's the mom. She can go out, but she, she didn't. Is yeah, she's. She is. I think that's the dad. I think that's the dad. Well, she went out because her baby wasn't home and she went to go find him. So, she like, was scared. she was scared and she went to go find him to make sure he's okay. All right, let's see what happens on this page. Gilbert's mother hugged him tightly. Well, thank goodness I found you. 
I was scared you were lost in the D. Good job. You told me that he, she was scared. I was a little scared too, admitted Gilbert. You yeah. said great white sharks were fearless, Rita reminded him. In the moonlight ocean, Gilbert, the great white shark, looked up at his mother and smiled a shaky smile. We are fearless, Gilbert said most of the time so here's the mom and she's hugging him and she says i'm so happy that i found you because i thought i lost you in the d Aww. i think that's, that's the dad, dad. I think yeah. That's the dad. No. yeah that's mommy that's rita that's that's his friend rita that's the friend rita and then that's gilbert and gilbert's mom okay all right let's see what's on the next page and on the next page, it says the end. Wait, They're headed back. Miss Murphy. They're headed back. Oh, thank you for clapping your hands. Yes, ma'am. Um, whenever, whenever he said he won't do it again, what, why did he say we instead of us? Why is it he just went in together? Well, it's him and Rita. Him and Rita were together, and they both disobeyed mom so he was saying okay we won't do it again all right well you guys thank you so much for joining us for this story time very good lesson in this story time there was a very good lesson in this story time so thank you for joining us make sure you hit subscribe you like and you subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notifications uh the next time we upload a video so make sure you come back to join us for another shark video we're doing shark videos for the entire month of august i will see you guys next week bye you want to say bye, bye friends bye, bye.